Well, dozens of gravestones at a Southside cemetery were vandalized overnight, causing thousands of dollars worth of damage. We head now to talk to our Chanel Call, who's joining us live from Mount Pleasant Cemetery with more. Chanel? Well, Erin, uh, I was told that a city staff member arrived here at about 7 o'clock this morning to find more than 40 gravestones pushed to the ground. You can see a couple of them behind me here, but the damage is very spread out. Why? Who would do something like this? Daylight exposes the harsh reality of an overnight crime. The damage across this 17-acre parkland space is widespread. We're just surprised and shocked. 40 to 50 monuments destroyed. At least $20,000 in damage. It does seem like it's uh, been a planned attack. I don't think it's just one or two people. Um, for the uh, nature and the volume of that was impacted and the way things were pushed over from a monument perspective, um, I think there was probably more than just a few people doing more than just a bit of damage it's not isolated to just one small area it does encompass several parts of Mount Pleasant Cemetery while city cemeteries have been targeted before this level of vandalism is new there might be a few things here and there um, like a, a broken vase or a kicked off monument um, things like that um, but nothing at all that I can think of um, to this. Big. No, absolutely not. This afternoon, a few visitors who heard about the vandalism arriving to check on their loved one's stones. We just thought we'd drive by, pick up the flowers, and uh, hopefully it wasn't our stone, <laughs> which it wasn't. My two brothers are buried here, so I kind of came in to check, if, but there's okay. So I'm good to put it a headstone. It's not cheap. You feel like violated, really. A police report has been filed. The city hoping surveillance video from security cameras will help identify who is responsible. Now, the investigation is, of course, in its early stages, but city staff tell me today that after what they saw happen overnight, they are considering adding some extra exterior cameras on these grounds, Erin. And Chanel, as we heard from family members there, it's expensive. So, you know, what happens now with these damaged stones? Well, the city says that the process of repairing these damaged stones uh, will now begin. They say in the next couple of days, they will be able to fix the ones that are fixable uh, in-house. As for the stones that are uh, extensively damaged, people will have to pay either out of pocket or go through their insurance. Chanel, thank you. That is our Chanel call reporting live for us tonight from South Edmonton.